Let's take a look at how to edit Google Slides. First, click on the Insert menu. Notice the list of options available. Some of the items are also available on the toolbar, such as Image, Text Box, Shape, Line, Comment, and New Slide. Let's look at the toolbar. The New Slide button is on the left. Here in the center of the toolbar are those other Edit or Insert tools, such as Text Box, Image, Shape, Line, and Comment. One option that was not in the Insert menu is Background. Now you know where everything is located, let's edit our slides. First, when using a theme, use the placeholder text boxes to click and type. Notice that the toolbar now includes text formatting tools similar to Google Docs, Sheets, and others. Click on a text box to format all text in the text box, or select portions of the text to customize only that text. Also, text boxes in Google Slides can be formatted similar to images and shapes. The options include fill color, border color, border weight, and border dash. Also, check the format options to find additional advanced formatting features. To add additional text boxes, use the insert menu or the toolbar and select text box. Either click on the slide to create an instant box or drag to create a specific text box shape. The text box is selected and outlined in blue. If you click outside of the box and it's empty with no text, it looks like it disappeared, but it didn't. Hover your mouse back over where the text box should be and notice the change in the mouse indicating an object is below. Click to reselect the text box. Another option is to sort of drag and select all objects on the slide, which will reveal all objects, including any quote unquote invisible text boxes. Also note that these added text boxes are like adding images or shapes. So therefore emphasis, use the theme builder to customize slide layouts for the boxes with your main text. Using the insert menu or the toolbar, select image. The options here are similar to other Google tools. You can upload from your computer, you can search Google images directly, you can also search for GIFs and stickers. Images can be pulled from your drive or from Google Photos. You can also use by URL, just make sure you have the rights to use that image. And last is to use the camera. Pick any method to add an image. When selecting an image, notice the toolbar changes with formatting options similar to those in Docs, Sheets, and others, which include border color, border weight, border dash, crop, reset, and replace image. A special note about format options. This side panel has advanced formatting features, which includes drop shadow and reflection, which is not available in Docs, and is special to Google Slides. Also special to Google Slides is the small arrow beside of crop, allowing you to mask an image to a specific shape. For some shapes, you can use the yellow diamonds to customize the proportions or positioning. Use the blue squares to resize, the circle to rotate, and drag and drop the image to position it on the slide. Shapes and lines are available in other Google tools, but become pretty useful here in Google Slides. Using the insert menu or the toolbar, select shape and explore the menu to select a shape. Click on the slide to create it. Use the same formatting tools for text boxes and images to customize the shape. For most shapes, you can double click inside of the shape to add text. Now the process for lines is very similar. You can use the arrow beside of line to select a specific line type, such as the elbow or curved connector. You can use these to connect the purple dots from one object to another and then format it as desired. Now, as one object is picked up and moved, the line stays connected. This can be very useful in Google Slides when creating various diagrams or flowcharts of any kind. 
Last option on the toolbar is background. Choose a specific color or choose an image. Now note this only applies to the one single slide that is currently selected. So it may be best to make these types of changes in the theme builder so that it is applied to all of the layouts. And that's it for editing in Google Slides. Meet me over in the next lesson. See you there. Let's take a look at some advanced edit or insert tools in Google Slides. First, click on the insert menu. Notice the list of options that are available. The four main tools are also located on the toolbar, and those include image, text box, shape, and line. So let's explore all of the others here in the insert menu. Let's look at audio. When you click audio, a small Google Drive window opens. Use the tabs along the top or the search bar to find the audio clip needed. Select the audio clip and then select insert. A small audio button is added to the presentation. You can resize and position it as needed on the slide. Typical media controls are available such as play, pause, and volume. From the three dot menu, you can select playback speed to adjust the audio speed. When inserting an audio clip, a format options side panel will open. If at any time it is not visible, select the audio button and then select format options from the toolbar. At the top is a more advanced audio playback section. All sections below are the usual formatting tools such as size and rotation, position, recolor, and adjustments. To help with visual appearance, you can add a drop shadow or a reflection. And last is alt text. Last note, when selecting the audio button, notice the formatting options that are available on the toolbar are the same for images. So you can change the border design or even use the replace image to pick something other than the audio button. Back to the insert menu, select video. The options are YouTube and Google Drive. Let's focus on YouTube. Using the search bar along the top, you can search YouTube directly, or you can paste in a YouTube video link. Either way, select the video and click insert. You can resize and position as needed. When the video is selected, notice the formatting options that are available on the toolbar. If you don't see the format options side panel, select format options from the toolbar. At the top, customize the video playback options. All other sections below are the same formatting tools available with other objects, so customize as needed. A side note about audio clips and videos. While you may not use these two as often for presentations, this feature is a great addition to Google Slides that are used to create interactive worksheets, step-by-step -step tutorials, newsletters, and such. Remember, Google Slides is much more than a presentation tool. Back to the insert menu, select table. Select the table size, resize and position the table as needed on the slide. When the table is selected or when clicking inside the table, notice the formatting options that are available on the toolbar. If you don't see the format options side panel, select format options from the toolbar. Text fitting is a unique setting only for tables. One pro tip here, Tables may feel similar to tables in Google Docs or Google Sheets, but you may feel limited on formatting controls. You may actually find it easier to copy a table from Google Docs or from Google Sheets and paste it into Google Slides. Most formatting will copy over, so test out that trick and see if it works better for you. Back to the Insert menu, select Charts. These are similar to the options in Google Sheets so much so that you must use Sheets to store or update the data for the chart. When the chart is added to Google Slides, it remains linked to that Google Sheet. Therefore, you can pick one of these options that are given, but you then have to work backwards to alter the data table in Sheets that it creates. So for that reason, it can sometimes be more efficient to go directly to Sheets, into your data, create and format your chart, and then import it to Google Slides. So to do so, you select from Sheets. Select the Google Sheet and then select the chart and click import. You can resize and position as needed. 
When the chart is selected, notice the formatting options that are available on the toolbar. If you don't see the Format Options side panel, select Format Options from the toolbar. One special note here, on the chart, you can click the three dots to access a menu of linked chart options. Back to the Insert menu, select Diagram. This really brings your presentation up a notch and helps provide a clear message. Select an option and the Diagram's side panel opens. Use the options along the top, which change based on the diagram type. Use the arrow at the top to go back to the list of all diagrams. Once you've found the correct diagram, click it and it appears on your slide. Edit the content as needed. Notice the different format options on the toolbar that appear as you navigate the different types of diagrams. One special trick. To pick up and move these diagrams, you may have to select all content first. Remember, you can drag and highlight. You can either click the edit menu and click select all, or you can use the keyboard shortcuts. Either way, select all content first and then carefully reposition or resize the diagram as needed. Another pro tip, to make this easier to move next time, while you have everything selected, go ahead and right click and select group. Now look how easy it is to pick up and resize when needed. Okay, last time. Back to the insert menu, select word art, which is a tool you're probably familiar with. Type in your text using shift enter for multiple lines and then press enter to create the word art. First things first, look at the formatting options on the toolbar such as font, bold, or italics. You also have the same formatting options that are available for shapes. Just like other objects, you can resize and position as needed. If you don't see the Format Options side panel, select Format Options from the toolbar. If you need to edit the text, you can double click on the word art, make your edits, and press Enter again to save. And that's it for advanced editing and insert tools in Google Slides. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.